Alright, let's welcome back to Mass Effect. Uh, so now we're gonna actually head up to do some actual things rather than just fucking getting ourselves pissed drunk. Uh, Presidium, what the hell? Main entrance landing area for... I guess I've been to all of these. Oh no, this is my current location. Yeah, yeah, I've been to all of these. But I can't go here for some reason. Uh, well, let's go to Presidium. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the voice of humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. You said you wanted to meet with me. I didn't realize they'd be here, too. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. Saren wasn't the one commanding the Geth. It was the Reaper, Sovereign. Ah, yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard. No one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. I guess I'm on my own. Again. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. I accept your offer. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Well, I was born in just, like, speed walking over here, the fuck? I don't need their help. I just need you to keep them off my back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? I got a long list of people I didn't want to see, and your name is right at the top. The feeling is mutual, believe me. Your return is a bureaucratic nightmare for us. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Counselor, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? I'm here because the fate of humanity is at stake. That's what you should care about. All you soldiers think alike. You charge headfirst into a problem with no regard for the long-term consequences. I make the decisions around here, Udina. Your job is to clean up the mess I leave behind. Understand? Of course, Counselor. Given the potential size of this one, I'd better get started. I'll be in my office. Sorry about that. Udina's never gotten over the fact that I got the Council position instead of him. 
Sometimes I need to put him in his place. What do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Now, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave, and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. Ashley Williams was on Horizon. She said she was looking into Cerberus. I know. I approved the mission. We had to find out if they were behind the missing colonists. I couldn't tell anyone without compromising the investigation. I'm sorry. I thought we were friends. Never expected you to go behind my back. We didn't know about you at the time. And I wouldn't have told you if I did. What if the elusive man was manipulating you? Lying to you? The report actually confirmed your story. I still don't trust Cerberus. But they were right about the collectors abducting the colonists. Unfortunately, Williams didn't find anything to convince the Council that the Reapers are behind this, or even that they exist. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. That's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Really? That, that nice. Got a nice edgy shadow. Morden looks like this. I wonder, can I just, like, load it? <laughs> uh, let's try this. Uh, actually, I, I'm not sure about that now. Let's just do a save like this. It, it made it sound like it wasn't on Citadel. No, it's just right here. What the fuck? Yeah, this is the same save. Alright, let's just try and load it and see if we fucking get their bodies back. Nope, uh, looks like uh, we're gonna have headless monstrosities uh, following us around for a little while. I mean, they have shadows ish. Is that how his shadow's supposed to look? What the fuck? Alright, well, whatever. Uh, well, I guess there's not much else for us to do here. Actually, there really is nothing else for us to do. Alright, let's just go back to Normandy. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I've actually finished everything here. Well, I, I still have one more thing to get, but... There might be more there, but we're gonna just, uh... Leave it be for now. Yeah. I think we're Gucci. Help, uh, Kasumi. Yeah, okay, we could go do that quest right now. Fuck it. Let's start it. Ah. Oh. Oh, planet scanning. Oh, I know how much you guys love this. Oh, yeah. Probe. I'll probe that planet. Yeah. Got money. Ding, 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 motherfucker. 
What is this plan I have? Oh yeah. Do you guys like when I set my probes into planets? I probably shouldn't do any of this, honestly, on screen. It's this planet. I mean, luckily it only takes one, so, you know, that's kind of just how it goes. I figure I'll do, like, big systems off screen, though. Like, look, you see this planet? It's gonna have something. Don't even have to care. Thank fuck for this mod. Honestly, alright, let's go help Kasumi. I want to do the party. Actually, there's nothing on this planet anyways. Actually, wait, we, we, we've got stuff anyways. Alright. Alright, uh... Yeah, there's nothing we can do here. She's got her stuff, so... Alright, we're good. By the way, this is blind for me. Never played this, so... Let's have a good time. You clean up well, Mr. Solomon Gunn. Hawk won't know what hit him. I assume Solomon Gunn is my cover? You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. I take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason. You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend, Hawk, is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend, Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a side on. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. What's in the gray box that makes it worth all this trouble? The gray box holds KG's memories. Everything from all the codes and plans he stole to all the time we spent together. Wrapped up in those memories is the secret he stole. Keiji never told me what it was, but the information got him killed. You've worked really hard on this. Keiji must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? Keiji's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. So, so don't they know who Shepard is? Like, some someone has is bound to recognize me at this party. Or maybe I'm dead. I don't know. This is our stop. I I, I will I will suspend my uh, disbelief or whatever for now. After you, Mister Gunn. Just one moment, sir. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem here? Yeah. No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met Donovan Hawk. Solomon Gunn. A pleasure. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? You may pass through, Mr. Gunn, with my apologies. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. Care to explain why my friend has to stand outside? I don't like the look of your friend, so she stays outside. Simple as that. If it makes you feel more secure, she can wait outside. Good to see we're not going to have a problem. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. 
Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. And no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. Oh, tactical cloak. We'll find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. Woman after my own heart. How did you ever contain that situation on the hull? Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam, done. Thank goodness. I thought those rabble would dog you for years. Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Really? Oh, please. It's wishful thinking, at best. That goes to a security room. We'll probably have to get in there at some point. Let's case the vault and figure out what we have to do. Let's talk to Donovan Hawk. He's the gun. We need to case the vault, gun. You can chat up Hawk later. Aw. Oh. Question is, where is it? What's your read on that Archangel guy? I hear he's dead. Or gone, or something. Good riddance, I say. Such a lovely place. No way you can sneak out of that party if it's locked down. Yeah. Chief Rowe, huh? She sounds like a hard ass. I hear Mr. Hawk's vault what? is exquisite. Who could know? He never lets anyone near it. Okay, well, it was doing dialogue, but it just kind of skipped over the other one, so, like, fuck. Okay, vault door. Somewhere beneath the ballroom floor. Say, what's that over there? Hawk's bedroom, I believe. Wow, who's his architect? This is a very impressive place. Or a very large one, at least. So it's beneath the wall, the room or something. I, I wish I know what she was going to say, but it's just whatever. Hawk's private rooms are off limits without proper clearance. I'm dying to get in there, but we have to scope out the vault first. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner, looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password, too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it. Keiji could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. Alright, so we got a couple things to do. Careful. The barrier's still up. We'll have to shut it down to get to the door. Uh, connect barrier power cable. It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. Fuck, don't do that. It's rude. Oh, fuck. Like, how'd you get over there? A, a tactical cloak my ass, it's fucking teleportation. Alright, well, let me get in here. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? Hawk gave me permission to go in. Hawk knows procedure. You're not getting in till I hear it from my commander. Enjoy the party. Private rooms. We need to get in there. That's the best place to find Hawk's DNA. There he is. All you need to do is keep him talking long enough for me to get a voice print. Pull out the charm on this one, Shep. Whenever you're ready. But we don't know the password. Oh, whatever. After you. Mr. Gunn, hope you're having a good time. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening. I hope. There's always someone gunning for people like you and me. <laughs> yes, that's true. I'm glad you understand. Frankly, I'm surprised your security isn't tighter. It's a ballsy move opening your front door like this. 
Yes, I suppose it is. Hopefully it sends the message that I don't fear anyone stupid enough to step up to me. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me and you are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. The cleaners. The support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Mr. Gunn. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scatter. Man, technology. One sec. That should take care of the barrier. Okay, I guess that was the power. I wasn't even paying attention, I just saw it highlighted. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Well, I guess let's go into the security door. We didn't even go to that upper floor either. Let me unlock that security room door for you. There we go. Ready when you are. Oh, I'm the best at hacks. What? Why do I have this gun? Why did you give me the garbage gun? What are you doing? I only have my pistol. I guess I guess that was like the most like concealed weapon I can get. Who the fuck knows? I. Oh, we need credits. Definitely need better gel. Uh, so many passwords around here. I can't keep it. Uh, keep it straight. The password for today is Perugina. Not even that easy to remember. Uh, only pass. Oh, useful to hawk, anyways. All right. Got something? The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. I tapped their communications. I think we can get past that private room guard. Tell him Chief Rowe sent you. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and... Got it. Now we can crack that voice scatter. We need ammo. <clears throat> well, that was uh, simple, but there we left like two dead guys here. And did they not hear gunfire? Did you hear? Santiago took over that refinery on Zoria. He's such a shrewd businessman. The Blue Suns are lucky to have him. So, okay, well, I guess we're not allowed up, on, up there. There's an impassable barrier. Uh, there's no way I can get past it. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? I have authorization from Chief Rowe. Okay, one second. Chief Rowe, Samuels. Have you given access authorization to Mr. Hawk's private rooms? They have access, Samuels. They'll stop bothering me. Got it. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. Okay, you're clear to go in. Enjoy the party. Alright, excellent. The grandest heist. Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. Tissues. Ah, oh, search for DNA. Haha. Oh, couch cushion? <laughs> Found a sample? No. A credit shit. One credit? Oh, fuck. Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. We're going to need more than this for the scanner, though. Hmm. No DNA, but... Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Cagey's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. No hair, no skin flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough. Good morning. Time to wake up. Sorry. It's clean. It's a plant. Uh, decryption project. Dictionary attacks using words and phrases. Uh. Uh, 
I'm just saying it's it's we the security get box. DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this, but I'm not sure there's enough. Let's keep looking. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. Antique weapons collection. <coughs> well, what are these? The old heat weapons? I don't know. Cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. That should do it. Let's get out of here. But there's a wall safe. Well, what was in here? Ah, oh, yeah, credits. It's a shame we can't get credits from planets, though. Oh well. All right, so we pretty much got everything, right? I mean, that was easy enough. <laughs> you just interact with everything that highlights, and then eventually you win. There's really no thinking involved. I just kept pressing spacebar. That got it. The barrier's down. Uh, password lock released. DNA locked engaged. DNA identification affirmed. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. Boy, Yoshi armor. All right, so we really don't get much options here. That's okay, at least we get our new stuff. Alright, well, whatever. So this is Hawk's vault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. Why is she teleporting everywhere? Protein statue. Creepy. Uh, Egyptian statue. I can still get money for something like this, even outside the Alliance. Asari go nuts for this sort of thing. Oh, look at all this. Michelangelo's David. Michelangelo's David. Just... Wow. Think we could get this out through the door? Alright, now let to... The Krogan doesn't have any special words of that. Hawk has good taste. I'll give him that. Rachni Queen. Ugh. Rachni Queen. I guess everything's valuable to someone. Doesn't look like much, but that might be one of the most valuable pieces here. Turian art is rare outside of Palavin. For good reason, I say. the last time the Quarians wrote on stone. That's impressive. Not sure what it is, though. Ah, oh, there's a great box. Uh, I want to kind of look at everything else here, though. How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? Damn you, Hawk! Just enjoying looking at things. A model of the Kara. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. Wow. Imagine that thing coming at you in a dark alley. What's a mushroom? This is nice. 
oddly relaxing. All right, let's go get the gray box. I don't think there's anything else here. Oh my god, there it is. Don't bother, Miss Goto. It's cold locked. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die, screaming. No! Have I got your attention? Them. Isn't there guns here? This looks interesting. Oh, here you go. Holy shit, everyone can use this. Alright, let's try our new gun out. It's a uh, longer range encounters and oh good. Alright, that's pretty good actually. It's a pew pew gun too. I mean, this is much better than the other thing because the other thing was like randomly like spraying and pray at long range. Wait, what the hell is this thing? Why is there a combat drone in front of me? Ah, oh, there's someone there. So, what abilities does she have? I don't know. She has overload. I'm gonna try and tell her to do a sneak attack. Burn yourself. All right. It's a it's a nice weapon. I approve. Oh, and this thing killed me. Uh, I, I haven't quite had a lot of time to deal with whatever that thing is. Oh, shit. Okay, we're going back to the main menu. My bad. Ah, well, you know, I, I, I like that engagement so much I decided to do it again. So, here's the thing. There's... All right, all right, one second. They were like right on top of each other. Incinerate has an impact radiance of, of 1.2 meters and it only hit one of them. Light him up. Uh, oh shit. Let's uh, go to our rifle. You get your fucking drone away from me? Yeah. Tickles. What? How did I fucking miss? Thank you. I never miss. Ever. Checking blueprints. There's a landing pad to the east. Let's get out of here. Joker, bring the shuttle in. Now. I was gonna say, we're gonna wrap this up uh, next time, so, uh... Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.